Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the trending contracts. And today's contract eliminate five women set in Dubai. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it and has been supplied today by Curio Koza. So today's briefing, there isn't one, so we're just going to say that these young ladies have all been very, very naughty and need to be punished. So today we have five targets available to us with no stipulations on how we dispatch them or what we wear whilst we do so. So we have a free map. So for today's challenge, we will be starting undercover as a guard. We're gonna have a remote enigmatic gas grenade stored up at the art backstage area. And we're gonna be bringing with us a vial of lethal poison and a syringe of lethal poison along with our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we're gonna put down this rather difficult questionnaire, make our way around the table to avoid the camera, through the small side office, vault over the balcony here or the ledge, and just in the corner on the far side here, we'll find a bottle of water. We're going to add our lethal vial of poison to that water and in a few moments our first target will finish talking to the other assassin and go and drink that water. In the meantime we're going to make our way into this little ornamental garden area. We're going to collect up the coin and the screwdriver on the two separate benches and when the assassin makes his way over, we're going to throw a coin against the wall of the cubicle that we are stood next to here. He will then come in to investigate. We can then get behind him, render him unconscious, and he will drop a number of items. The only one of which we require will be his vial of lethal poison. So we still have two poisons. And just as we get back to the uh, entrance to the penthouse, we can now watch Miss uh, Kelly here drop down dead. So one target taken care of, we're now gonna make our way over to the black and gold bar where we will collect up a change of outfit and locate two more of our targets. And that will be uh, Cornelia Stuyvesant and Lucy Phillips. So once we get all the way across the atrium area into the black and gold bar, then we're gonna make our way straight through to the storage room behind, where we will find a, a housekeeping staff member or a server of some sort. We're gonna render him unconscious. We're gonna hide his body in the closet provided and then we're going to proceed to take his outfit. Now as we run through the black and gold bar, we did trigger uh, Miss Stuyvesant's routine. So in a moment, she will make her way into the side restaurant bar area just here, the seating area. We are going to get there before her, and we are going to tend to the bar. So we're just going to plant down a glass on the desk, we're going to poison that glass with the poison we collected from the vulture assassin. So there is Cornelia and in a few moments Lucy will follow her in and we are going to offer Lucy a drink and once she accepts the drink we are going to move away a safe distance. Now this is highly dependent on the other bartender. He must leave the area and he is doing so just now. If he has not left, this will not work. So Lucy has taken her drink. She has now dropped down dead 
and Cornelia will come over to investigate and at that point we can then jab her with our lethal syringe and she will follow suit with Lucy dying out of sympathy. So that is two more targets taken care of. We're now going to make our way back behind the black and gold bar and redon our uh, security guard outfit and then we're going to make our way up to the art uh, installation the little technical area above it which is where our third uh, fourth target will now be you may have noticed she was down at the black and gold bar with Cornelia and Lucy but once Lucy makes her way toward us the young lady tech lady will make her way up here so we're going to make our way up the stairs and we are going to wait for the conversation between the tech staff there to finish before we turn on and off the generator there i did it rather too early and i interrupted the conversation as you can see one of the tech staff the gentleman on the right background there is facing in entirely the wrong direction we need him to have his back to us so once that conversation finishes everyone then will have their back to us and we can then turn off the generator turn it back on again move a safe distance now uh, this could happen multiple different ways so the plan is to remove the two male uh, tech staff or tech crew uh, the first one as you can see we are using the generator just to make sure that no one is looking in this direction before we hide his unconscious body in the crate provided we're then going to make our way around to the right of this area now the plan was that I was going to electrocute our target as I said this can go a number of different ways so we're going to make our way just past the fuse box here we're going to take the screwdriver we've collected and throw it against the wall now depending on who comes to investigate if it is the gentleman we're just going to render him unconscious and hide him in the crate and then electrocute our target but more often than not our target will be the one to come and investigate so we're just gonna stab her with the screwdriver when she arrives so that's four targets taken care of we're just gonna hide her body in the crate provided and we're now gonna make our way down to the rear of the art installation and we are going to collect up our eggmatic gas grenade in a briefcase before heading down into the what I like to call the basement area even though we're about 100 floors up from the ground and she will be down in one of the conference rooms uh, informing the staff down there of some rules and giving away the keypad code so once we're out on the back of the art installation we're going to collect up our eggmatic gas grenade remove it from the briefcase and then return it to the briefcase therefore activating it we're going to select the detonator and then we're going to make our way down to the lowest level that we can access which will be in my opinion the basement so we're just going to run straight down past everybody all the way down the stairs right down to the very bottom and at the bottom there will be a set of double doors directly opposite us there they are and inside will be our target now there is a camera up on the wall and you can see just out of camera view actually but it is pointing almost directly at our target so we're gonna let her finish her speech and she will either approach the desk or the filing cabinet just to our left and today she has gone straight to the filing cabinet so we can approach her at that point trigger our gas grenade that will make her very very sick and she is going to head to the nearby bathroom to throw up and we will be 
following her all the way very closely just to make sure that she does. She must obey the rules. The rules are if you're going to be sick, do it in a toilet. So once she gets inside, we're going to follow her in, close the door behind us and drown her in the toilet for our final kill. So that is all of our targets now taken care of. We are going to make our way back up one more floor or even two more floors and there is our exit, the elevator. We're just going to wait for the patrolling guard to make his way past before we exit the mission. So one more trending contract taken care of. This was quite a fun one. So we have confirmation everybody has been eliminated according to the plan and we should have our silent assassin rating so there we go as i said one more trending contract taken care of i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video